Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to something a little bit wonderful. We are back in the mix with Fallout Anomaly. So starting out right from the beginning, there's been a little bit of an update with regards to uh, the initial setup process. We now have advanced needs running, whereas it wasn't before. Let's just take a second here, make sure nothing too insane is happening. All right, so one little note for the developer is... As we come into here, into our advanced needs, uh, where are we? Somewhere around here. For some reason, advanced needs is all the way, well, it's in the middle instead of at the top where the A's should be. However, uh, we go in here. Do we have to enable any of this stuff? I've done this. No. Game settings. Now this I have enabled. However, I wasn't sure whether or not I was supposed to, based off of the advice that you've given us. I know I had to enable these ones, farming, fishing, food spoilage, hygiene. Uh, I'm assuming that I also have to enable the cell respawn, the damage multipliers, and this. I could be wrong, but I've done it anyway. So maybe that thing, that needs to be cleared up a little bit. However, uh, the patch for see-through scopes is also now active. So before we get into our actual gameplay... I've had to come in here and enable this. This is now in the instructions anyway, so if you download the mod list, you will see that. Okay, now I just need to have a look for my field of view. Okay, so we're coming into custom camera here, down to miscellaneous, and I will be changing this to around about probably 90. So 90 across the board there. All right, I'm pretty sure that's enough of an update with regards to any little changes that need to be made the field of view looks a lot better all right perfect okay so i've had a little bit of an input in what to do about this place when we get around to it we will be coming back here however for now there is another mystery that has come to my attention and it is something that i do want to check out Back over at Vault 111, there is something that I was unaware of that, in all honesty, uh, if I was playing this without any kind of external input, I would probably not discover this. So, unless it comes up as a quest, which I don't think, at least I don't think it has at the moment, we do have a little mission here. How about we say hello to the meat the one and only meat dog let us meet dog and we will meet and greet dog and then uh, yeah let's take care of whatever monstrosities are likely to explode out of the ground in just a second so the condition boy staying in the on the screen at the top right is being addressed from what I understand pretty soon it should be linked to our our hood hotkey but it's not quite there just yet lots of stuff here we did activate this didn't we okay we did now all right let's throw down a quick save here before so the field of view obviously as we enter the field of view here and exit again should stay the same Hopefully it does. And it has. Are we sick? Okay, advanced needs is now active, so I don't know what that was about. Do we have some sort of illness? Not seeing anything just yet. Also, where are the horrifying little monsters? that I am expecting to jump out of the ground. Maybe they're not coming. After all, real... I see you. Oh, I see. The zombies are actually popping up out of the floor. That's interesting. Zombies do that, don't they? In real life, they do that. So it's quite an interesting mechanic, actually. Bitch. 
Okay, don't forget we do have MAME active here, so... Yeah, we are definitely thick. Something's going on, is it? Hard to tell, hard to tell. So, yeah, now the... I've never played with advanced needs, so I'm totally uh, out of my depth here with regards to how this mod is going to let us know when we need to eat, how hungry we get. I haven't tweaked any of the settings. Usually I play with survival options and I change. Hey, okay, that's fine. I change the settings to the same value every time. So, kind of a realistic hunger and thirst rate. Yeah, that's fine. And a, a realistic sleep rate. I don't know what advanced needs kind of runs with out of the box or how, how it's been tweaked by the developers. So, I'm just leaving it as is. Okay, which is probably what I'll be doing for the majority of this series. Unless it becomes obviously... Why am I coughing? Unless it becomes obviously unrealistic. Why am I coughing so badly? We don't have any... We don't seem to have any kind of illness. Do I have... What do I have in terms of aid here? Well, I've got some stuff, but I don't really know... Should I just take one of them? Let's just take a med kit. I've got loads of them. Did I just see a zombie? I did. I did see a zombie. Oh, he's a quick one. Hit him, dog meat. Can't hit this guy. Wow, why can't I hit him? Got him. Sorry, boy. Dogmeat looks like he got infected there. Oh, great news. The um, the developers have told me that they're looking into the potential for uh, incorporating the zombie walker's infection. Honestly, Dogmeat looks like he's actually already got it. I'm still coughing my guts up for some reason. I'm wondering if it's anything to do with my clothing. I don't know why it would be, but... Let's just take that off anyway. I don't think there's any kind of gas mask filter system in yet. One thing to definitely mention is, again, the mod developers are yes. all over checking the comments. To, it's getting dark, isn't it? Checking the comments to these videos and listening to requests and observations and things that are being made and right now on the discord there uh, there's a bit of a voting thing happening with regards to potentially any more mods that might want to be incorporated there is limited space so please if you if you do want to have a bit of a, an active part in this in the development of the mod list consider maybe jumping into the discord and yeah putting putting a little bit of input in uh, i think one of them is the gas mass of the commonwealth maybe there's there's a load of mods that people are voting on so over here i would never have noticed this although you know i guess maybe somebody emerging from the vault might wander over here to have a look at these giant glowing fungus and potentially see this. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us descend together into whatever horror awaits down here in the maintenance compartment, maintenance department, whatever it said. Who knows, maybe down here, Mr. Jagger Mickelson, Jagger M Mickelson, will find some answers to... Uh, well, who, who is he? What's going on? What's going on in the world? Will he find some answers to his mysterious past? 
Or will he just find things? Whoa. Hello. Yeah, I think we've been shot. Interesting. I was not expecting raiders down here. I will be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm still coughing my guts up, but I guess I'll just have to stop commenting on that. Because it doesn't seem to be changing. Got a bandage. That's always helpful. Pretty sure I have these combined. Uh, hotkey, don't I? Let me just take a second here to review all of my gear. Alright, that's done. So I've just, all I did was just look over my gear, make sure I've got everything hotkeyed in the way that I want it to be. So after quickly throwing down that quick save and reloading, it turns out my field of view has been reset again. Okay, I kind of detected that as soon as we got in. So I'm not sure why that's not saving uh, throughout the save and reload. So anyway, uh, it, it seems to be fine until you do that. Okay, so I just wanted to do that because, you know, this coughing thing might be... Sometimes this stuff just gets fixed by quickly saving and reloading. Although it could also be a feature of a mod. So... Let's pick up a little bit of loot here. So we've got plenty of gear down here. Obviously, it looks like we're dealing with some raiders. However, I don't know for 100% certainty that all of these people are raiders. That tactical reload is now active. So let's maybe give people the benefit of the doubt. And just see how they respond to our presence here. Hello? This guy's got an AK. It's now mine, and I want it. Alright, now here's one thing I want to check with you guys. Oh, don't do that, please. Okay, so, let's just quickly look at uh, what ammo we picked up there. This is a suggestion, uh, potentially. Also, the crit, the crit bar issue is being addressed. Okay, the ammo we just picked up was 762 Soviet, 21... We have 21. Let's pick up the gun. Let me just see if that gives us more ammo. It does, right. So there's a mod. Uh, I'll try and remember what it's called. In fact, let me look it up. Called Remove Ammo from Dropped Guns. And what it means is... Uh, so I won't have to pick up every single gun to get the ammo. The ammo will automatically be removed from the gun. And placed into the player's inventory. So... It avoids having to pick up guns all the time and then dropping them, which is a very, very... Well, I've incorporated it into one of my other series, and it is a massive, <laughs> massive quality of life improvement for somebody like me who picks up loads of loot and is constantly getting overburdened. I do not like how much this gun covers up the uh, screen there, so we'll be putting that away. I think I just picked up a mini nuke. Okay, I'm going to try and go a little bit slower with regards to picking up junk here. Don't have any bobby pins. Alright, well, that's a thing. Sliding door open. Yes, do that. Oh god, I really, really don't like this scope. So we just took a big hit there. That would be a death. Let's just see what happens when we die. Do we just get an automatic reload? I don't think there's any kind of death alternative system in place here. That's a nice quick reload, I must say. Alright, yeah, so my field of view has reset upon respawn. So what I've done this time is I've saved it to a profile. So I can just press numpad 5, hopefully, next time it happens. And hopefully that will, well, fix it temporarily for the time being. Alright, anyway, let's get back on with the mission here of exploring this very intriguing place oh that's the wrong way okay so we're back inside yeah we've already taken care of business down there so we, ba we basically know everybody here is uh death i i have an invisible barrier here for some reason not sure what's going on there oh so the mod we're using here for uh, for ballistics 
is definitely, definitely different to the mod that I normally use. Okay, it's definitely different to the mod that I normally use because the ballistics feel different straight away. Not that that's a problem, just something I'm gonna, going to have to adapt to. I know a lot of you are very excited for this, uh, this mod list too. Extremely intriguing, especially all of these massive, massive quest mods that we have. So let's get this hot bound. Hot bound? Yeah, let's get it hot bound again. And do we have like a fire mode check key? Maybe we do. I'll probably have to bind that. It might already be bound. I definitely want to get these, uh, this lean key bound to toggle as well. So it's a bit more comfortable for me to use. Broken pipe gun. So they're obviously sitting down here having, having a snack. It's different, uh, different voices, isn't it? I'm wondering if when we visit, if we visit a doctor, will our uh, our sickness be taken care of here? Let's rock with a shotgun, eh? So we are going to be playing. Whoa. Burst his brains out through his, uh, through his biohazard suit. I didn't get as much ammo for this gun this time. Did I, did I miss some? No? I don't know. Anyway. Maybe it doesn't really matter. That's 61 rounds last time. <coughs> Is that flashy? Food poisoning cure. Oh, cool. So that's going to go into our medis medical... Uh, medical one, eh? No, not seeing it. All. Let's go in all. Flashy food poisoning cure. I guess that could be uh, re renamed into an aid. Uh, you know, like a medical item along with these, potentially, I suppose. So it doesn't get accidentally eaten. Now, what was I just about to do? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It'll come back to me. We've got two levels. We'll address that soon. Ibuprofen, sh broken shotgun. I am going to start saving more guys just because, you know, we want to, we do want to get through this, don't we? Oh, ding, ding, dong. I'll say. I like the... What's this guy doing? What's he doing? Okay, I thought he was, a, his animation was bugged out a little bit. He just kind of looked like he was doing a dance move as he was running across the, uh, across the floor there. Anyway, he was obviously trying to pick up somebody else's weapon, which I actually love. That's brilliant. So we're finding a fair bit of ammo down here. So what's the deal down here? What exactly is going on? What are these people up to? What are these raiders doing down here? Dog meat's, dog meat's on something. I don't know what. He, I don't know what he's been sniffing, but he's been sniffing something. He's supercharged right now. Got a screwdriver. Okay. Have you guys heard of this mod? Hardcore. Hold on. Let me just try and remember what it's called. Okay. Shoot it. Hey, it worked. Hardcore Survival Commonwealth. HSC. Something like that. What it does is... So, you know, with settlement building... You need to have... Um, you need to have tools in your inventory to build things. Yeah, I've got this weird, uh, this weird barrier again here. It's like seems to be at this particular point. Look. Anyway, you can get around it, but there's some sort of structure here. So you need to have tools in your inventory. It makes settlement building way more 
difficult. It's probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it turns out I have confirmed with the mod list developers. Oh, we've gone on a full circle, have we? Uh, that this pack is being designed to be a hardcore experience. Okay, so obviously as we're playing the game, anything that feels too easy or too unimmersive in terms of a hardcore experience, um, then, you know, that needs to be addressed. Let's have a look on the map here real quick. Do we have a local map? We do. Is there some areas we haven't been through yet? Or... Does it not show up? I forget how this local map works. I don't use it very often. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've done a full loop of the uh, of the environment here, but let's just have another quick look around. Very often in these situations there are unforeseen elements, unseen elements. Which of course we don't really want to miss, do we? like Gorilla Glue and Ajax Laundry laundry Detergent. We've got to keep ourselves clean in the Commonwealth, you know what I mean? Isn't that part of the advanced needs system too? You've got to wash and... We're not yet getting any kind of uh, notification. I suppose I should double check that the MCM hasn't reset the, uh, the advanced needs, the change of the advanced needs. Yeah, these aren't actually... Maybe they don't... They don't... Uh, become, what do you call it, alphabetical? Anyway, this one, F, L, M, N, F, no, I don't know, anyway. So, yeah, it's on, we're on. It's already enabled, great. So it hasn't unset itself. Game settings, again, I, I've done this one, maybe I shouldn't have. The, the instructions need to be cleared up if it's very specifically just a few of them that you have to enable. Or I've enabled all of these as well. Uh, enable camping, number pack three. Number pack? Numpad three. I can press three, but I don't have any camping gear, I don't think. All right, guys, it looks like we've actually cleared this area out. So, let's move on. Back down into Con... Yeah, running into that little barrier again. Back down into Concordia. Lots of stuff there, I just dropped it because, well, inventory space, okay? Right, here's one of the things I was going to bring up, and this is why I was uncertain about this, uh, this pack and which... Can't break those, can you? If there's a mod that allows you to, like, bust these things open, you know how in Stalker Anomaly... We're going to we're gonna play that this week on the channel, by the way. Sorry, dog meat. You can break these boxes open. Specifically, they look just like this. It would be a nice little, uh, you know, throwback, if that's the right word. Probably not the right word, but a nice little, like an Easter egg sort of thing, where you can break those, break those open. Sometimes you find little items lying in them. Okay, the Glock. Glock's installed. We already have a Glock, but now it's available in the world. Very cool. Yep, so we've got some quest mods starting up here. It's getting dark. Let's uh let's throw in a nice nice big old chunky save. And we're gonna head down. What is going on with Dogme? He's got some sort of ability, hasn't he? Okay, our crit meter there is linked. It just does seem to show up, doesn't it, randomly? I couldn't find it in the full UI, full HUD menu. But yeah, all this stuff is being addressed. Guys, check it out. Just just sit with me for a second. You know what I mean? Now here's one thing I'm trying to find out and I forgot about asking this question. I'm pretty sure in my own inquiry into this mod list, when I was looking at the web website, which lists off a few of the mods, um, that there's a mod in here that's got anomalies in it, I think. But it's one of those websites where you get pictures that scroll across, you know, so you don't... I guess you could look into it. Anyway, all I can remember is I'm pretty sure one of the mods actually got anomalies in it. If that can be incorporated somehow to be like a central element, 
like the, whatever that quest is, whatever that mod is, there's some sort of way of bringing that to the attention of the player, because I guarantee you a lot of people won't have seen that picture on the website, and so they won't know that there are actually anomalies in this mod list. Apparently it's not too many, but still they're in here somewhere, uh, so I don't know where that is exactly. But I'll probably have to find out. I meant to ask that on the Discord. But forgot. So, let's get back down here. To see what the deal is with... What's her name? Also, okay, we've got our notification up there. Great, we feel thirsty. So that's, that's working. We've got a few levels, we'll address them soon. Hostess cupcakes. We actually don't have any water. So let's try and fix that. I'll tell you what, let's do it the way that most people will probably do it. By trying to... Uh, what's this? Can I... So it didn't give me the option to shoot it. It does. If I crouch. So I can't shoot it, but I can detonate it, okay? Well, I'm not going to do that for a, one of those health boxes. Let's see if we can build... I don't think I have any resources here to do this. Oh, I don't have any concrete. Is there anything here I can scrap for concrete? Well, there you go. Okay, let's get this built. Is it... Purified water, or is it dirty water? Obviously, it needs to be dirty and radioactive. Do you agree? I agree. Fill them all. Obviously, we don't want it... We don't want it to be that easy to get purified water. Yeah, great. So we've just picked up 13 dirty water. Which, can we now turn that into... Wrong button. Uh, let's store all our junk here for now. Can we easily turn that into purified water or does it require? Okay, so there's a recipe for it. Do we feel like that should be, should need some sort of other ingredient? Hmm. I mean, we're talking stalker anomaly, aren't we? To get boiled water that easily... I think that's a bit easy. Not hardcore by any means, is it? To have all of that. Wait a second. So we've got boiled water. Oh, so I could have just made purified water straight up. How does that differ from pure from boiled water? Maybe boiled water is more radioactive than purified water. Let's test this out. Where is it? Doesn't give us any rads. And absolutely quenches our thirst. Okay, so boiled water needs to give us radiation. If purified water doesn't. And purified water should have an extra ingredient of some sort. Antiseptic or a filter. How is it purified? You know, it's boiled and then purified. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. There's an element missing there. I really like this... Uh, these fireflies, they're called, aren't they? I think it's from a mod called Firefly. So obviously if this is a bug with my character, coughing his guts up. Then that's something else to look at. Let's have some... Oh crap, I just ate some super irradiated food. Interesting. Okay, let's see if we can... Yeah, we've got a little bit of radiation. Nothing too crazy. Private frequency signal. Let's listen to that. I know we tried to do this. Oh, wait, we've got noises. So, I know you probably can't hear that. Neither can I, really. It's very faint. It's getting clearer. Can't 
can't tell if we're moving towards it or away from it. What's going on? Have I got some sort of perk here that's causing me to see enemies, people? Because there's a glowing person over here too. That's a zombie. I've picked up some sort of perk somehow. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't know how I got it. Yeah, I've got glowing enemies. That's horrendous. I don't like it. I don't know what I've done. Got a 7.62. Another AK. Great. I'll take it. Honestly, that's... That's nice. Ooh. I'll take that as well. Alright, so... Getting back up here. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. When freedom calls, yeah, that's fine. So how am I going to disable this glowing... Glowing enemies, because that's horrendous. Who would want that? Alright, let me... Uh, do I have to look through all the mods now? Obviously I've done something somewhere along the lines. Okay. Let's have another look in here. I'm I'm turning. I'm not ready to listen to the private frequency just yet. Let's have another look inside this building, all right? First of all, can I just say that I love the variation on these weapons. It's not mega, but it's cool. It's cool enough to make me notice that there's there's a good amount of variation in these AKs that I've picked up. Uh, even in just appearance, let alone in their actual stats. Now, I want to have a quick look at this thing. Interesting. Overcharged automatic tactical fires MF cells? MF cells? Why am I not registering what that means? MF? Microfusion. Okay, great. Yeah, all right. Now, here we go. Now we're talking. Okay, let's throw down another save before we try this again. So we've had our quest to come in here. That save just took a second there. I can't, like, get in. Oh, I couldn't take that last time. I don't think, unless I missed it somehow. So we've got weapons coming out of the wazoo. That's an American thing to say, isn't it? Which, honestly, I like it. The fact that ammunition for them all isn't yet coming out of the wazoo as well, that's good, because it makes them a little bit well, mysterious, doesn't it? We need to wait for the ammo a little bit. Okay, so, first of all, there's a few things here. Now, I think what I did this time... Uh, I don't think we've looked at this yet. I reloaded a save a little bit earlier than where we left off. Okay, maybe we did. Yeah, maybe we did, because there was a different option at the bottom, wasn't there? So now I've been guided towards a terminal somewhere on a wall, I think. Yeah, this one here. So, custodial terminal. Let's see what's going on here. Workshop etiquette. Not many bother reading terminals in these dark times, but in the event you are, come on in and appreciate your surroundings. Life out there is exhausting. A place like this, you can be yourself. I trust you alone, and if you aren't well, I can see you, but you won't be able to see me. I put some of my work on display. Please enjoy and make yourself at home, provided you follow a few rules. Do not touch the fuse box unless your intent is to disable the water and power. I've added safeguards. Leave your Brahmins outside. Think twice before heading upstairs. So we're heading upstairs. Alerios. Okay. Do it. Open the door. So I'm guessing I just opened this door. Yeah, maybe, hopefully. Any gear for me? Nope. Can we take some stuff? I'll take it now. Ooh, concrete, I think. What's that? What's that thing? Can't grab that. Nope, didn't really mean to grab that, but whatever. So I can't see a fuse box. Maybe that was upstairs. Lots of nice, juicy... 
loot for us though yeah so did i did i explain that this mod uh hardcore damn what's it called hrc or something or hsc anyway i'll put a link to it in the discord on the suggested mods thing you, you need hammer you need a hammer you need a saw you need like a screwdriver you need items in your inventory to be able to build i build things oh okay so this thing do it rest it now what it's inaccessible let me take the fusion core what does that do am i breaking things yet oh fashion masks okay so i haven't actually played with that mod that i was just describing i only just discovered it the other night And it sounds pretty cool. Hopefully it's functional. Anyway, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. I'm just thinking out loud, you know, making little comments and suggestions. How hardcore are we going here? Oh, Desert Eagle. I'll take it. Lots of loot. Imperial Stout. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's an... There's an... Uh oh. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So this is the Depravity mod. I have never, clearly, I have never played with this mod before. I have no idea what to expect. But, you know, this is the direction that our character is going with his journey. And we don't know what kind of person Jagger is going to turn out to become. So whatever's happening here is going gonna, is gonna to flavor his personality. Clearly, he's probably right now going to be very confused a bit lost and confused about oh my oh my jesus essentially but i'll take that soap and still have my pit boy the torch is freaked out again which is fine at least we can see that is also being worked on run bobby pin box and a jangles the moon monkey so obviously i thought i was disabling that by pressing it but clearly not however it's going to do the same thing isn't it yeah disable okay interesting all right so Okay, maybe I won't just gather all the stuff, eh? Should we... Disabled? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's open this door. You know, can is, is Jagger right now? I feel like he's staying pretty... Pretty calm under pressure, don't you? He's not, he's not freaking out. It's like he's just getting on with business. It's almost as if he knows what to do. As if he's been in this situation before. Is he some sort of ex-military personnel... Has he, you know, has he been through a kidnapping himself and escaped? Is he an ex-con, an ex-convict? Whereby he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't be uh, totally unfamiliar with this sort of behaviour. Slave. I'm just going to ignore that person over there in the corner. Lady, you can talk. Oh, all right, that had an effect. That had an effect, people. Had some sort of effect. Oh, get a dog meat. Turns out Jagger is an absolute psychopath who apparently can't take any kind of criticism whatsoever. All right, well, there's his first kind of character development moment all right guys remember it's a video game all right this is a video game okay let's see if we can get through this without breaking another essential bobby pin it's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly 
That's why sugar bombs are engineered to bleed both your child and not damage his or her... What's happening? Okay. Firing more traps here. So we're in some sort of puzzle, are we? Radiation emitter. So obviously there's somebody upstairs. So we've been captured by some sort of slave traders. Requires terminal. This is where we came from. Let's have a look through here. Okay, we just picked up a med kit, so that's going to be potentially helpful. So we've had all that gear stolen. I'm hoping and assuming that we will get that back at some point soon. Just picked up a key there. Let's have a look and see what that key was. Okay, so we've got a lot going on here in the MISC section. That one, was it? Fallon's terminal password. I'm not sure if these can be, uh, what do you call it, categorised? These are all hollow tapes, aren't they? So it'd be nice if they were under a single menu, a single hollow tape menu, so you're not having to look through this every time you pick something up. Anyway, what's this? I know we picked this up, but we still didn't quite figure out what to do with this. Apparently that's a lifeguard and he's saving them. So I've been told. You just never know in these sorts of situations, do you? Just look at exactly what we are going through right this minute. What a shame. Okay, we're losing weight, are we? Oh, that's a thing, is it? That's going to be advanced needs then. So, oh, okay. PTSD. You're locked into a state of hypervigilance and unable to relax. You are aware of everyone around you. You receive a boost to perception. Are we picking up, um... Are we picking up traits here, like dynamic traits? That's interesting. We will we will take a look at these before the end of the episode. Obviously, we're, we're kind of locked into a bit of a scenario here. And what's our name again? Jagger. He's clearly absolutely, absolutely taking no crap. He has obviously been through something like this before and he's he's ready to break free. He's ready to get out. And apparently he's not um, he's not taking any crap whatsoever as that slave very recently discovered well, I don't suppose I can jump on here and jump up there we're not trying to cheese our way through this are we okay anyway it was dog meat's idea terminal here we go here we go Okay, that was the wrong key. Slave processing procedure. When a new fish arrives, they are to be stripped, disinfected and subjected to a full cavity inspection to ensure they aren't smuggling anything in. This should take place in full view of the other slaves for maximum psychological effect. All personal possessions are to be catalogued, boxed up and stored. The traps are for show. Most of them should be kept deactivated, but please remember which ones are live. Radio ads should be played over the intercom at no longer than 10 minute intervals to ensure continual disruption of prisoner sleep pans. So we're finding out that our dear protagonist, Jagger here, has been inexcusably invaded throughout this process. So I'm afraid this explains his debilitating mental state. He is now suffering from PTSD, as previously discovered. Execute the male raider slaves in response to the latest prisoner uprising, execute the male raider slaves. Finding buyers for this latest batch is taking too long anyway. Execute one of the females at random in front of the others. Chain the rest up for the next week and reduce food and water. 
Use a Braxo to remove their graffiti from the walls. Okay, well, obviously. Oh, this is going dark, isn't it, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid. This kind of fits in with a lot of our, a lot of our other series and the way they, those turned out anyway. But, yeah, I'm afraid it looks like... Um, it looks like these raiders are in for some... Let's just call it rightful retribution. And unfortunately, the uh, the slave encounter previously set the stage. Uh, she just shouldn't have opened her big mouth. Clearly, Jagger does not take any crap. Absolutely loving those sound effects. Okay, so we've got a weapon and a grenade. Incinerator requires terminal. Oh, I tell you, it's touchy. Well, hello there. What happened then? Toodaloo. Oh, he's not dead. Good job, dog meat. That was weird. Apparently, he, he wasn't that easily killable. Which is shocking, isn't it? He's just landed a grenade under his arse. Okay, what have we got here? It's just to open up the other door, isn't it? Why did it have to happen on a Saturday? Only a few dozen of us made it in. The Abernathy's Hutchins, Shaw, Finch, Warwick, Sullivan, Hargraves, Pembroke, my family and a few others. If it were Friday, there would be dozens more of us. Could have been worse, I suppose. It's just dumb luck that Candice decided to schedule Bring Your Kids to Work Day on a Saturday. She ended up saving us all. In hindsight, I feel like a piece of garbage for firing her. We've got enough food and supplies to wait this thing out. Running short on beds. Everybody's wondering when we can move back upstairs. We're in trouble if the water purifier hooked up to the well breaks down. Need to find a backup source. Okay, I'm not going to read through all of these guys. Well, one, because... I want to keep going with the gameplay, but two, you know, there's some uh, some elements in here for you guys to also discover. So, you know, the thing is with, with a lot of these quest mods, obviously we're playing through it. So, spoilers at the end of the day, you're seeing, you're seeing the way it goes if you've never played it before. So, I will leave... I will leave some elements for you with regards to the law. So that Oh, this is a workplace a workshop place, is it? Wow, that's a lot of supplies. That's a lot of supplies. Did you see how much adhesive's in there? Hundred pieces of adhesive. Just making this note after the recording. I feel like that's way too many supplies for a hardcore experience. Yeah, and definitely needs oh to boy. be reduced, if not completely remo removed. Leaving a little bit of gear in there wouldn't be so bad. Oh. But it's not oh, exactly slap. hard to obtain all of those items. It? And it definitely doesn't suit a hardcore experience. Oh, he hit me. Not taking a lot of damage, are we? So obviously, uh, Jagger here has got experience in martial arts. Oh yeah, we picked up some. Uh, we picked up some armor, didn't we? I don't think I put it on. I didn't. Let's get that on. And shot collar, we're not going to be putting that on. Okay, 
so we've got our armor on here. Yeah, Jagger, he's he's seriously uh He's serious business, isn't he? Now, have we got any weapons? I know we've got a baton, but it looks like uh looks like Jagger here prefers to use his his fists. More of a martial artist. What's the going with his bare knuckles? Now, did I did I look inside that workbench then? So is this a settlement, is it? How interesting. Settlement or player home. Now, I know we didn't actually look through these mods either. We got to the work the workbench, didn't we, last time? And uh, kind of moved on pretty quickly. So while we're here, we've got ammo crafting, advanced needs workbench. Obviously, at some point, we will be getting into this in more depth. Myself, I'm the sort of person where as this stuff comes up, like right now I'm thinking, after this episode I want to go and look into advanced needs more deeply. Uh, just to see what the story is, you know, what's what's the kind of lore with it, or the deal with it, the details. Anyway, we'll look more into this when it comes comes around to actually building a settlement. So depravity mod then is it just a uh, it's sort of getting access to this bunker which leads us to a settlement and that there isn't any more uh, wait a second okay we've got some more stuff going on here Fallon's report Fallon's master key what was that? Was that a note we just picked up? Fallon's report? No? What was it then? Hollow tape? No. It's going all. Can I search here? I can. That's great. Can't equip it. Okay, alright. Never mind. Mr. Jason Statham popping his head up in the background there. Nice. All right, we've got a gun. Wait, is this our stuff? No. So we haven't got our gear back here. So that is that was our gun, or it is our gun. Okay. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong key. So it looks like we're going to be rolling with bare fists for weapons, uh, along with obviously whatever guns. Okay, I had a feeling this would happen at some point. Confiscated belongings requires terminal. Alright, so I feel like I better drop this stuff off because, you know, I'm imagining that with this advanced needs system, there's going to be some consequences for carrying too much gear. So let's go over here and drop off all of this junk. Junk stuff that we've got. Okay, that'll do. Now, I think we're going to end up a little bit overburdened again when we unlock this safe, which has got all of our stuff in it, I think. Yeah, so this will be very interesting to look through. There's a lot of law here, obviously. Again, because I don't want to ruin it for you guys by showing you through the whole quest mod. In case you've never done this before, you now know what it's about. But there's still a little bit of a secret there for you. If you want to come down and find out exactly what's going on. So we just open the door and we now have access to all of our gear. Maybe they didn't take all of our stuff. I forget. I forget whether or not they did. I didn't check thoroughly. Okay, anyway. Looks like we've got this place cleared out and obviously it's a settlement which is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so that's very cool. Alright, so we can go to work down here. Potentially. Alright, so we've got a little bit of a bug there with the crosshair. With the uh, the cross, the reticle. Although I have encountered that before. That's probably something to do with the actual see-through scopes mod itself. 
So does this... Maybe we haven't finished up here yet. No, don't close the door. Enjoy the ride. Okay, where are we going right now, guys? I have no idea where this leads. But we are at the end of the episode. So, uh, I think I kind of covered everything that I needed to cover slash wanted to cover in this episode. Things are still developing with this mod list. Obviously, there's still a couple of things that are being tweaked. The developers are watching this like a hawk, along with all of your comments, your own input. Feel free to, uh, obviously you can jump into the Discord and leave your, you know, if you've got things to say, leave your comments in the Discord. You can also, if you're playing this yourself and you're having experiences that are similar or, or different or you're noticing other issues, please do feel free to comment in this video about that. It's, uh, it's all being done to help the developers crystallize this mod pack and turn it into, well, the perfect experience that they want to uh, to give to the world. At the same time, please keep an eye out on the channel. We are going to be playing some Fallout, no, some Stalker Anomaly this week or sometime in the next week or so anyway. So the reason I'm doing that is because I just want to get this kind of a little bit of a comparison experience we're not here trying to exactly recreate stalker anomaly in fallout 4 but it's kind of the idea that there's a lot of bridging between what stalker anomaly is and what fallout is and we've talked a little bit about this as if the idea behind what stalker anomaly would be if bethesda made it okay so that's kind of the idea that's floating around with regards to this model list. So taking that into account, do as you will. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Please do check back again very soon. We will be updating this model list as it goes. The developers have pointed out that obviously with big updates, we're going to have to start again in our series, which is fine. We can make it work. I can divert down different roads, even adding in bits of XP here and there to kind of get us further along. It's the, it's the kind of the nature of the beast when we're dealing with in-development mod lists. Little updates will be fine to continue on, but big updates are going to come along every now and then, which will reset our progress. But we'll make it work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Please do come back again very soon. Goodbye for now.